free donut day. It's me here and free donut day. I buy a 26 cent water and I get free donut. What? Right here. And donut. This sucker is so dry. <laughs> Hi everyone, I am Pietin, the GM of the Elysium Guild on the US Shadow Moon server. Welcome to Elysium Live. Today we talk about some new PvP ideas, a revamp to the war games, your thoughts and concerns about the content changes and leveling. It's a lot, so let's dig right in. Now for the general news. More PvP content. I'm glad the Blues brought this up because it's definitely something Ludwig and I have discussed sometime in the past. It would be nice to play on some new maps, but if you introduce new maps, you spread the amount of people that are actually queued for a particular BG. Since the queues aren't random all the time, how can one say he or she won't queue for Warzone Gulch all day despite the new maps being there? One thing to bring some new life into these BGs is to just update the textures a bit. Now, get ready for a revamped new and improved war games interface of some sort. Yeah, many of us knew the war games functionality was there, but to be honest with you, it didn't get used very much. Now why is that? Personally, we're a strict raiding guild, and sometimes we don't find the time to actually put together a group for it. Besides, most of us are in PvE gear and we get crushed by the second raid group, and that's not gonna happen. Now about your feedback and changes in the community. Here's a quote. Just recently, Dave Kosak gave some insight on the new quest hubs on the blog. Greg Street continues to share his own insights there as well. No matter your personal thoughts or feelings about what they have to say, they still care deeply for the game and the community. The way I look at it, I say to myself, I can't believe how the community just feasts on the Blizzard's developers. We, the community, I guess, have been a necessary evil to what WoW has become, but at the same time, I feel for the developers of the game. I know they just wanna punch a wall sometimes. It reminds me of desktop support. Ugh. In leveling? If you ask me about leveling, I will slap you. No, seriously, I'm not a fan of it. There are some parts of me that would like leveling it to be this immersive experience. But when it comes down to it, I've done these same quests on how many characters? It gets dull very quickly. For a raider, we wish we could just materialize a top level tune and then buy gear and raid them ASAP. Like, I need a druid, boom, there it is, let's raid. Now let's take it to the moon, Shadow Moon, that is, about progression. Elysium was able to down heroic Omnitron defense system, and that bumped up Shadow Moon another notch on the Wild Progress Realm ranking. Woo, woo! And don't hate. 25 man Alakir, still not down. Still not down? Yeah, that reminds me, 25 man guilds are a rarity these days, and there are about five good ones on the server. And for today's Shadow Moon Classified comes Elite Healer finally branching off looking for a raiding guild. He goes to say, greetings, my name is Thunderstorm LOL and I'm probably the best healer you've ever laid your eyes on, JK. The player also goes on to list about 100 add-ons and I stop there. Alliance for the win if you want them. And there's a new guild on the scene. Shadow Moon's about to blow, literally. The guild goes by the name of Quarantine. Pharaoh from the guild states that their officer Cora has been raiding since vanilla and with experience from top 10 guilds. Now if he or she means top 10 server, that's nothing to worry about. But if they're talking about top 10 world, look out, they're lying. No, I, I really don't know these guys, <laughs> I don't. Let's talk about those patch 4.2 changes of 610. The Elemental Bonds quest line is now available to level 85 Horde and Alliance characters. The new raid Firelands, according to the notes, seem to be playable by both Horde and Alliance characters, 
but it looks as if you will have to do some quests first before doing so. And this is the release build coming June 21st, just so you know. The Dungeon Journal is in full effect. Valor points, Valor and Firelands raids reward 70 and 10, 90 and 25 man. Valor from the new Tolba Rad boss will give 35 and 10, 45 and 25. The Valor from Tier 11 raids will now give 35 and 45, half of what they used to. And this week's add-on, well, it's not an add-on, but if it were, it would be amazing. While best in slot, oh wait, never mind, you have to pay for that. But if you go to wildhead.com slash items, you can itemize and sort your gear based on the stat weights that you put in. Now, isn't that just great? And it's free, free, free. Let's check the state of the game. Our buddy Laura over at Tank Spot does his weekly PST shows and there were a few things I actually like to comment on. One, should Blizzard teach players how to spec and gear? Really? I can't even believe that this is a question. Where are these people even getting these ideas? Of course they can't teach you. They shouldn't, that's terrible. And two, what can Blizzard do to fix tanking and threat? I'll give you a story. I played alongside a tank back in the day who had issues. One day I did his job and I did just that, his job. Three, how can I tell nice people that their performance isn't up to snuff? This is a part of human resources. You have to build a backbone, but it takes time. You have to lay your rules and stick to them and let them know if they don't meet these requirements, they can't raid. It's as simple as that. Is starting a new guild a good idea these days? Why not? If it's something that you wanna do, do it. It may be harder these days with guild levels, but have you ever thought about inheriting one? Psst, hey you, yeah you. If you're getting ready for patch 4.2 and you haven't been doing your JC dailies, get to it immediately. There will be some new cuts you'll need to get your hands on. And if you have those tokens saved, you'll be ready to get whatever it is that you need. And that's just a tip. And this week's site link is Blizzard's own World of Warcraft official site. You wouldn't believe how useful it has become since Cataclysm. The forums are amazing and the community has gotten even stronger ever since. And I just wanna thank everyone once again for watching Elysium Live. As always, be sure to check Elysium.org for the latest wild news from your realm to your raid. Subscribe to us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter at the said domain slash Elysium Guild. Donate your spare change at the donate link at the top of the site's homepage. And we will see you next time. Take care.